The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's got the corner. He's tackled at the 12-yard line. The Cougars have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling, and down he goes at the 19-yard line. That makes it 33. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling, and he's taken down at the 21-yard line. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there, and the defense this time wins the battle. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Easy, easy. And they make the stop at the 42. Throws it to the outside. Oh boy, almost intercepted. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. 17-yard punt. Out of bounds at the 39-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And that one's incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Ready. Zips it left. He got a hand on it, but it's incomplete. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. He's going right. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And they got him for a loss. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 17-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 28-yard line. 
He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. I like the combination of speed and strength that this cornerback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Well, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete. He's hammered. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. First and 10, ball on the 43. And a quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 19. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. right around the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a team of four. Third down. They'll bring him down at about the 11. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. It's our time. It's our time. He's tackled at the nine-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Quick throw out to the receiver and he's hit immediately. That makes it fourth and inches. Oh, excellent punt. 
and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He throws right. They can't connect. Incomplete. Third and ten. Ball on the 30. They'll spread the field with five wide. He goes downtown, has it to the senior, the 10. He scores, what a play. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. He makes the PAT with a three-play, 70-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He tackles him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Throws incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. They'll go with a run once again. Good outside run there. Quick strike, and he drops it. They'll line it up again on third down. And he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings, that brings up, up second, second and 13. And, 13. and this play is number eight on the drive. Back 22, back 22. Dog Go four! And he is drilled at the 13-yard line. Tries to buy some time. They bring him down. That'll bring up fourth and nine. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Arizona State lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brigham Young holds a four-point lead. He's on the run. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line. It's second down. He makes his way out to about the 35. That'll bring up third and inches. The Sun Devils taking their first time out of the half. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. Taken down at the 32. Both defenses really played well so far, Irving. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws a laser across the middle. And down he goes around the 46-yard line. Let's it fly. They connect again for the 20. Touchdown, Sun Devils. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point, and he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he doesn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Grabs it and hammered right there. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. He really got a hold of that one. <laughs> Gets to about the 34-yard line. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. Does have the ability to make guys miss. Arizona State is up by three. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Quick toss. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Step 
steps out of bounds at the 49. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. Stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. They come out on an empty backfield. Don't get nervous. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. I'd like to see them roll the dice here and go for it. If you can't convert, let your defense go to work with a long field behind them. They're going to try a long field goal here. Arizona State has a three-point lead. Kicks away. So the junior kicker is unsuccessful this time. And our score, 10-7, Arizona State. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 44. Going long. The junior. Well, we've played a half of football. Arizona State's got a three-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I completely understand an offensive coordinator's philosophy. If a play works, just keep going back to it over and over and over again. But you know, something seems a little unusual about, about the play calling in the first half here. I, I, I know what you're saying. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. But if it's money, then put it in the bank and continue to do it over and over. He kept dialing up the money plays, man. I don't need to run anything else. If my money plays are going to work consistently until you stop it, you better you better get used to seeing green and cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching because it's money in the bank. Are, are you trying to say behold the power of cheese? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here? Got a good... Well, like a game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Nice stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Very Number close nine. game now as we start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Three down, three down. Arizona State holds a field goal lead. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. A five yard gain. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down, down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 25. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Yeah. 
Tackle made at the 39-yard line. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. That's a deep line. That Short yardage one. situation here. It's second down and one. And he's level at the 47. out and the ball is up for grabs. It's recovered. They get this one off and it's a beauty. And down he goes at the 16. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Arizona State is up a field goal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Zips it right. it out to about the 49. He's tackled at about the 37 yard line. the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Number six. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 20. Brought down at the 19. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drilling about. He's taken down at about the 21. Loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 29. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Arizona State is up by three. Red two. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 18 yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up, and it is good. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sun Devils continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He scrambled, and he's tackled around the 23-yard line. Inbounds to make a nice catch. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Watch two. Watch two. Here we go. He's going to try and scramble. And he has it on the corner. And he is drilled at the 39. made around the 49-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 49. Five wide. Just throws this one away. to convert here on another third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out quick, it's picked off. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. Arizona State is up by six. Nice run there. So at the end of three, Arizona State leads 13-7. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Watch 14, watch 14. Here we go, here we go. Here Black we go. five, Did it. And down he goes at the 42. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. Yeah, the big fella did a heck of a that job plugging up the hole ball. where that play was supposed to go. So it's third down now, and they're gonna need about four. Roger, Roger. Mike 41, you gotta wedge that, huh? All day, baby, all day. Here we go, here we go. Good. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He fights forward to about the 40. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. to his receiver, first down. He 
gets out to about the 28-yard line. Arizona State up six. Throws a strike over the middle. Gets out to about the 11 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Right and left, right and left. Watch 14, watch 14. Oh, four. He's got an opening. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. They bring him down in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. Watch the screen. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Go ahead, Mike. two. Green, 15. Let's go, Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. That makes it this is the 13th play of this drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Black five, black five. Decent run here, right side. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. They're going to go for the easy three here. Brigham Young just took their first time out. He gets it up, and he got it. Now that really puts the pressure on. Yeah, that was definitely a big field goal because now that puts him up by two scores, and there's not much time left on the clock. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Call it a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 40 yard line. First down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Hey. Aaron and out long. Tipped away. Super effort to get the ball and knock it away. Real good job down the field. throws it. Now, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick out to his receiver. It's a fumble. The offense scoops it out.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just over a minute left. Makes it to the 31. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Cougars, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it hits the upright. No good. The offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Number two brings him down at the 35-yard line. That brings him second and one. And he stops the clock with a spike. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 46. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. They come out on an empty backfield. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. How much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. We're about set to start things up again. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Cougars have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive, but if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can build to the future around his abilities for sure.